What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing Milton Bradley's classic game, Torpedo Run. This massive game came out in 1986 from Milton Bradley and it is for two or four players. This is uh, a game that is called the uh, part of the Floor War series and I believe this is the only game that was made uh, in that series. Uh, massive game. The object of this game is you're going to be uh, shooting these discs at your opponent's ships and you're going to basically try to knock them all out first. Um, all of the uh, subs in the ships have these little holes in them where you're trying to shoot the disc and you're going to be trying to trigger a certain part of the ship to blow up. So, let's show you Torpedo Run. Okay folks, as always we're going to go ahead and go over the components. And we will go ahead and start with the board. And this is a massive board. Here is my hand. This will just kind of give you an idea of how big this board is. And the whole point of this is you're supposed to put this on the floor, a large table. We happen to have a large table. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using this little sub shooter over here that you have and these discs, and you're going to just split these discs up. And what you're going to be doing with the sub is you're simply going to be loading discs in here like this, and it can hold about six or seven discs, and then you're simply just going to be shooting them out uh, like so. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to shoot the discs into uh, these little holes over here. This is the battleship, and there's uh, five different places here you're trying to shoot the ship, or shoot in the ship. What's going to happen is anytime you uh, uh, shoot a disc into one of these holes, it is going to trigger uh, this little part over here. And what's going to happen is that part is going to shoot out or it's just simply going to shoot up. And that's basically what you're trying to do. And of course, anytime you know, you're putting the ship together, you're just simply going to stick it in here and they have these little rubber bands in here. Now, what I'm using are what are called uh, braid bands, uh, simply because I think the rubber bands in the original game, they're, it's hard to find the right sizes. Uh, braid bands work great and you can get them for like a dollar and get 500 of them. But anyway, uh, this is the battleship and you would just simply stick it in here like this and it would go ahead and catch. Um, and in this particular game, this is how you're going to set the ships up. Uh, this is your little cruiser over here there's only one target that you actually have to hit here. Now the object of this game is you're basically going to try to be the first person to knock out all of the targets on all of the boats. Um, and that's basically it. And uh, both players are going to basically get an even amount of these chips over here and uh, both of them are going to shoot at the same time. Uh, and so what's going to happen is you're going to shoot and shoot and shoot and then you're going to collect uh, some of the discs when you can and then you're going to just start shooting again um, until somebody actually knocks out all of the targets. There's also another little game that you can do uh, where you'll set your ships up like this. You'll split up uh, getting, giving everybody the discs and uh, everybody's going to shoot all the discs off. And what you're trying to do is you're going to try to shoot as many of the targets as you can. Any of the ships that you knock out are going to stay there, but any of them that you don't are going to actually get to move uh, two spaces to the edge. The battleship will move one, but the cruisers will move two. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the most amount of targets uh, by the time the last ship that is able to get to the edge gets there. Uh, so anyway, I'll just kind of give you an example of how this works. I'm just going to uh, move this out of the way and this out of the way just to kind of shoot a little bit and see how show you how this works here. There we go. I just got one there. Um, now the battleships, um, if you get those, these tend to actually pop out. So I'll just try to see if I can shoot uh, one or two from the battleship just to show you how, how it looks. Well, I'm a horrible shot tonight, so I'm just going to do this. Here. Come here. There you go. So boom, it'll pop out like that. And that's basically how the game works. You're just going to simply be uh, firing the discs at each other. And the first person to uh, knock out all of the targets on all of the ships is going to be the winner. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Torpedo Run. So my final thoughts on Torpedo Run. Well, this certainly is a unique game uh, just because of the sheer size of the board. Um, it is a fun game. Uh, I would say. Um, it does get a little bit frantic at times when you're shooting the discs. Um, and uh, sometimes you're going to have to uh, stop shooting because you need to collect the discs to try to uh, reshoot. So there'll be a lot of action and then there'll be a little bit of a stall time. Uh, I like the uh, the way the ships uh, blast off the different parts uh, when you're, you're able to get a disc uh, uh, shot into one of the holes. That's pretty cool. I've always liked physical games like that where you do something and the game reacts in a certain way. So I enjoy 
enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, now, this game does have an issue with parts breaking. Um, part of the problem is, is this game is over 30 years old, and uh, the components of the ship were made okay, but after a while, if you play it long enough, uh, some of the parts are going to break because the bands are being held by these little plastic parts. Um, and, like, actually, the second time I actually played this, my sub broke, so I had to uh, end up getting another sub. Uh, and that can be a pain because uh, anytime you go on eBay to try to find parts, most people are going to be selling them in lots. Uh, so you end up having to spend $25 just to get one part that you need, and then you might have to try to sell the rest off. Uh, now, I ended up getting this game uh, from a uh, Facebook group uh, that sells and trades board games. Um, and this guy had it on there for $30, and so I went ahead and I purchased it because it was a game I was curious about and wanted to try out. Normally, this game goes for at least $50 uh, plus shipping. Uh, so I ended up getting a fairly good deal on it. Uh, but as far as the price goes, is it worth $50? Uh, for the fun factor of the game, for the nostalgia of the game, probably, but the issue is, is the parts breaking. So, to me, that devalues uh, the game's price. This is a big game. This isn't a game that's very easy to find, um, and a lot of people have good memories of this game, and uh, I enjoy playing it. It's pretty fun. Um, of course, you have to deal with the lost disc and parts possibly breaking, but at least you can get them replaced if you need to. So, that's my review of Torpedo Run, you guys. Hope you all have a great day. Keep on gaming.